you are watching my channel tech zone and diy please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so thank you very much today's video is uh, related to the cold room setup and this is really important uh, video here uh, we are gonna discuss uh, uh, the items uh, that has to be installed so this uh, video is gonna be really important it might get a little longer uh, because uh, i am hacking the ac on a very low level and uh, once this is set up then the ac unit is gonna behave really really well so what i have uh, as discussed before uh, uh, is the following i have uh, two ink bird digital control units here one will be used for cold settings one will be used for the hot settings and uh, i will need one relay here this is ac 110 volt relay uh, which uh, is two pole and uh, this is uh, normally closed as well as normally open so it can control uh, the units in here the idea here is that uh, when uh, the ac is running on cold and the uh, radiator of the air conditioner freezes then this unit is gonna switch on the hot so when uh, this switches on the hot uh, the relay will drop the cold setting so that the compressor will stop working and the heater will come on you do not want heater and the cold to be running at the same time because then it's not going anywhere so now let's um, make the connections in here so these red wires for the leds are the hot wires and this is the neutral wire so i'll just keep these aside for the time being i don't need them for now they will be connected later on all right so i put them in here <laughs> if you see the legend in here these two are for uh, the power this is for the sensor this is for the hot and this is for the cold one thing uh, is important here really is that uh, the all the connections has to be soldered they they they, they, they should be soldered nicely and uh, because uh, if you have a loose wire they, they will not be very good So now as we are making the connection, so I'm gonna uh, connect the negative side of this LED to the negative side in here because there's no more wires gonna be in here. So I will gonna just put it in here as well. So the, these connectors are not so thick. There's not much space for too many wires. So we have to use uh, the wires which are uh, lower gauge wires basically so that uh, they get connected easily and nicely and you don't have to struggle with the thick wires thick wires uh, will not be so easy to connect and make sure uh, the connections are good all right so this is this is fine <coughs> so this will be connected to the positive side of the ac supply and this will be to the negative side of the ac supply and uh, those two wires will go in here the sensors will go in here those sensors will go in when um, we go to the panel and uh, let's wire uh, the other connectors in here and and we, we are gonna connect the relay with that one <coughs> so as you know the hot wire will come in here so that means when the heater is on that will energize this relay and the 
to energize this relay this output connection has to go into the AC in here as the hot wire comes in this will get engaged and the connection which is normally <coughs> normally open is this point so this will get activated and as soon as the temperature goes high this will relay will get disengaged then normally closed connection is on the top here so then this will get engaged and then you get the supply the inputs are gonna be in here this is for the hot and this is for the cold and this is where all these uh, supplies are gonna be so let me connect that one so this one is hot here so this is output The cold connection, the blue LED, this will get connected to the cold output setting in here. So this will go the cold which is normally closed. So this will go here. So I'm gonna make those connections uh, permanent when I go there on the on the box. All right, so <coughs> and this one is uh, normally open, so this will get engaged only when uh, the hot wire will come in so I'm just putting this in here for now so that I know when, when I'm gonna make the connections over there so how is this gonna be <coughs> so there will be another connection in here which is AC neutral so this neutral this is already kind of full so this neutral I'm gonna get it from here because there will be only one unit so let me let me do that so let me connect this one all right so there you go and this neutral will go in here at this side so this power is connected this power is gonna be connected from there and this uh, neutral goes in here and when this is on the hot setting the, the relay comes in is gonna energize this guy in here the output will go out from here this is normally open and uh, this will be the hot supply this will be the cold supply the cold output is gonna be from from this side just so that I know that to be on the safe side I am putting this uh, cold input I'm using a green wire that I have over there and then I'm gonna put it in the cold out in here but I have to sort of this one because I shorten the length of this wire All right, so let me make this connection
okay so this uh, this was the cold out here and this was for the heater if you remember inside I had used uh, the white wire for the heater and the green wire for the cold so I make sure they are nice and tight and then see if anything is loose make sure they are tight okay so now for the power for the cold and the hot so this one is for the cold the, the power actually there is no connection inside I'm not too much worried how, how do I manage this one I just have to put this in and tighten this through with here so nice and snug not too tight you don't want to break it if you break it then uh, it's gonna be difficult <laughs> then you have to buy a new unit this is unless you open it and go really and fix the board itself take it out and put it in a new connector then that's a long shot it's not easy right, so. so this one is nice and tight not too tight make sure the connections are good all right so all connections are done basically and uh, what I have to just cut these lines off I tied all other stuff just behind it so before we put it together okay so what I have to do I have to just uh, make sure that uh, this unit is actually working right so I just uh, put in a screw one screw only and then that's it I will test it this is so cool I'm so satisfied with the results here Sorry guys, I did not have a better angle. This is my garage actually. And uh, so this is, look at the finish. This is really cool. So these things will not come on, these lights, none of them will come on until I switch on the air conditioner from inside. So, I will do that in a moment okay so this is the air conditioner let's test our connection so you see this is off here this is fan only this is cold this is big cold this is less cold big cold less cold doesn't mean anything it's just the fan the AC is on this is low fan so I will keep it low fan and if you see the compressor is working and over here this uh, light is on okay, so at 7.2 uh, this is blinking in here that means the uh, time delay that I said two minutes has not reached yet so in the meantime is uh, as soon as uh, this timer says it has come on now it will go down to 6.5 this is the temperature that i set for the demonstration only the ac is on and this is uh, now i have to simulate here uh, the heating temperature so i set that temperature to 14 degrees
see so the temperature was set for uh, 6.5 so as soon as it reached 5.5 degrees the grill temperature then it switched on because uh, the temperature i set really was uh, uh, 14 degrees and uh, the variance of the temperature where the you know, that is gonna kick in is 8 degrees below so that means if i set it up at 4 it will go to 0 and then minus 4 at minus it will reach minus 4 only when uh, the uh, the radiator is iced otherwise it will never reach minus 4 and uh, and then it has to rise to 4 degrees before this gets disengaged so th this is uh, how the heater works when if you would have noticed when the heater came on then this was switched off this went off it just cut down uh, the, uh, the the temperature on the other side so right now i don't need that much temperature so i'm just gonna just uh, put it back where it was so it was at uh, four degrees so let me put it at four in winters i am not using the cold room but this is uh, what i did for the uh, now it has gone off you can see so this is uh, four degrees all right so now what will happen the temperature has to drop to minus four now in the current settings before the heater will kick in so this uh, completes uh, the video for uh, the control unit how to make the connections between ac and the live wires and this control unit how to set the uh, leds how to set up the hot settings how to set up the cold settings so everything is done and uh, we'll see you next time thank you very much for watching and have a great day